Wake up! It's Monday morning. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm here in my home, and I thought that I would move outside, but it is so bright and so hot. You can even see the brightness coming from the back of the room at 8.30 in the morning. So I'm really glad you're here with me. I have a co-video 33. Hey, Tamara, good morning. And if you've been watching these recordings, yes, Tamara is the name of the person that jumps on first every time. So if you're fortunate enough to have that name, you're going to be very right there in the front, front of the line. Love that. Okay. So um, this is a co-video 33 and it is focused, it is an upper body workout focused, uh, we're gonna have a balance focus, and I'm always focused on strength. So let's grab our two cans, right? Here we go, hey everybody, good morning, hope you're doing well. I don't, I don't think it messes up these cans if you shake them, I don't know. You know, maybe that's a special dish, you know? We'll, we'll have to think of a name for chili made with beans that have been used for a warm up. Hot chili. Uh, I don't know. Warm chili. I don't know. Hey, Laura, are you going to work out with me? That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do 10 presses. Always warm up. Hopefully, since you know this is coming, maybe you've gotten up and you've gone for a walk for five or 10 minutes. Or, you know, I've told people even a hot shower. I mean, people go before workout. I go, absolutely. If you're someone that doesn't feel like getting out and walking or jumping on a bike or jogging in place for a few minutes, then a shower would literally physically warm you up. Good morning, everybody. Can you believe it's a Monday morning? Of course, if you're watching this as a recording, there's no guarantee it's a Monday morning. There's no even guarantee it's a morning, right? But it doesn't matter because you're working out and that's what matters. All right, so we're doing this two can, which is a, a bird as well, two can warm up like this, just pressing overhead while we start to get everybody online. I love it when I see people come and go, they're like, oh, Cam's live. Oh, there she's working out. I'm out. I'm out of here. All right? You got to stay. Discipline is what you do when you know you need to do it. You might not want to do it, but you know you need to do it, and you do it. And then you get a huge reward of feeling better and stronger and healthier. And that translates to what some people might call younger. But I think... You know, it's not about youth, it's about taking care of yourself, okay? Because it's not about the calendar, it's about how many days on that calendar can you put a little smiley face or a, hey Laura, thanks for saying good morning again. At, um, it's about smiley face or a heart on that calendar that says, I love me, I took care of me, all right? So you can see with the cans, I'm just coming back and twisting. If you've been hanging out with me, you know that this is my my warm-up protocol for upper body and I frequently do it almost every time because it's therapeutic to the shoulders and a lot of us sit at computers and we get a lot of tension in our upper body and our shoulders and a lot of um, individuals especially there's a phenomenon of women in their 40s or over 40 over 50 who get frozen shoulder syndrome and I have had two very serious injuries who, that have not resulted in a frozen shoulder, and I, I really credit this routine. So right here, we're just doing a simple pour out. We're not worried about the repetitions because we are just warming up like this, okay? And then we have a little ceremony we do with this warm up where we pour out together, and we're gonna pour out things that Let's pour out other people's obstacles. I'm gonna pour out all the obstacles to our friends and loved ones who just are resistant to working out, to, to giving at least one of these co-videos an attempt. Just hang in there, just get them on the video and say, just do it for 15, 20 minutes. And they're like, oh, okay, 10 minutes. But I wouldn't compromise more than 10. Because <laughs> they won't get, I think 10, they would get a mood boost at least, right? That's, that's my goal. That's why I show up smiling and having a good time with you. At least, maybe you'll laugh because I'm goofy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so we're pouring it out like this. See that? And we're pouring out all the obstacles to any resistance we or someone else might have to taking loving, good care of themselves. Now, there's a big, that, that one's a good one. So when we do that, we're going to pour it out. Now we're going to celebrate how much healthier and happier 
our world is becoming. Yes, it might not always feel that way, but our world is sometimes just these four walls and the lovely people in it that we have surrounded ourselves with. Or it could be four-legged, you know, family members like cats, dogs, or maybe two legs like a bird. Yes. There we go. So we're pouring out all the obstacles to a happy, healthier world. Oh, and we're celebrating that healthier world. One more. I can feel that. You feel that in your shoulders? Pour out the obstacles. Celebrate more happiness and health in our world. Yes. Good. Okay. That's excellent. Now we're going to hold our arms like this. And we're just going to do this pure, gentle rotator cuff movement. If you've ever had an injury there, this may be a little owie. I'm happy to report that my shoulders feel really good. I've been doing lots of hard landscaping, regular landscaping. Had the family over yesterday, did some cornhole. I won. Okay, I'm just, that, okay I just got to say. But it was a fun game. We had toddler interference, but then that it just made it more fun. So here we go. Doing good. Doing good. This is Co-Video 33. Can you believe it? This is amazing. All right, one more. Mm, all right, good, good. That's all warmed up. And to be able to do this video, you need, um, I'm going to use primarily the gallons of water, which weigh eight pounds each. If you have weights available, you need to pick weights that by the last repetition, so we're going to be using numbers like 12, alternating 20 but that would be 10 on each side so your goal is um that it feels tough like really tough but you can maintain form form protects you from injury okay so the first thing we're going to do though is a body weight exercise so a sturdy chair is very important for all the co videos uh, if you ever feel dizzy, it's very important you sit down immediately. Stop what you're doing. Sharp pain, tingling pain, buzzing pain. That means stop. I am a personal trainer. My goal is to keep you safe, but in a video format, I can't see you, though I'm pretending that I can. So I have to encourage you to do the correct form and to keep yourself safe. Okay, so the first thing we're starting with, I'm going to back this up because I want, want you to see my more of my body. And I am barefooted today because we're working on balance and I want to do that barefooted to help the muscles in my feet. Those shoes are fine. Um, there's just some advantages uh, to having shoes off. So a chair dip is you grab the seat of the chair and if your knees are bent that's going to be more moderate, right? And you, more for a beginner or senior, and you may just end up holding like this. Some people do not have the strength to lower their body and back up. And when you lower your body, your goal is to get your upper arm parallel to the floor. However, you don't want to come down and have your body out away from the chair. That puts a lot of strain in the shoulder. So you want to keep your back pretty much near or almost touching the seat of your chair. But don't scrape your back. Okay? You ready? We're going to do 12 of these. All right? Very good exercise. If you want it to be harder, straighten your legs. All right, here we go. Don't push through your legs. One, two, three, four, five, magic numbers, 12, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Very good, excellent. That's how we're, we're kicking it off with chair dips. The other one's gonna be balance, alternating shoulder presses. So you can take your cans up here, which weigh about a pound, or two, three, four, the poundage that you think will make it tough. I've been sticking this whole time to gallons of water because I know everybody can get those. And eight pounds is a great um, starter weight for most people, not everybody. Some people it's gonna be too heavy. Okay, so I'm here and what I'm gonna do, let me back up a little, is I'm gonna balance on one foot and I'm gonna alternate to 20. One, two, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you're a beginner or a senior, you don't have to do the balance part. You could be seated right here. I know I said I did 20, but I was just thinking out loud. So what I'm doing at 10, which I didn't warn you is I'm switching feet and then I'm going to continue on 11 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So if you've been working out with me the whole time, you may find that those drugs are starting to get easy. So you need, you might want to research, can you get, you know, 10 pounders, 12 pounders to be able to do these things, right? Okay, then tricep kickbacks. I wanted to throw in some triceps because your triceps are really the secret to a good looking arm, right? And a lot of ladies want a nice arm, men too, but ladies are, this is a spot that we want to work on. So kickbacks are my favorite. I'm going to hinge forward and I could do this from seated in a chair, but I think this is easier to hinge forward, maintaining my arch. I'm going to bring those drugs up and you can do it with cans. You can even do it empty handed and you're going to kick them straight back like that. Everybody see that? Or I'm going to kick it back. What the mistake that most people make is they drop that elbow. Keep the elbows up, shoulders pinched together, which is an added benefit for posture. All right, we're doing 12 of these. Okay, you could do it with cans. Remember, five pounders if you have them, three pounders. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, control it on the way down, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. Perfect. So those are our three primary movements. And uh, but we can't just go right back to chair dips, chair dips, chair dips, because I've been watching a video series called It's a Southern Thing. You should definitely check it out. <laughs> really if you're from the south you'll appreciate it if you're from the north you're like i don't get it it's all good um for them the south by the way is like texas sweeping across that southeast region of the united states think barbecue okay all right so we can't go right back to ch to, to chair dip so what we're gonna do is airplanes because we're focused on balance okay uh so you bring those arms back right bring the arms back and we're gonna, and this is another reason I'm barefooted today, is we're gonna lean forward like this, like this, right? And they are slow, so that's one airplane. Just pick a foot to stand on. We're gonna do five of these, nice and slow. Two, and I'm squeezing my arms back. All right, three, Four, yes, here we go. I can feel this in the calf that I'm standing on. And five, so now just, I'm gonna kinda change my angle so you can see it a little more. Switch feet, chest is out, arms are back, balancing forward. This is actually very difficult to do if there's a kitten in your room who thinks it's fun to chase your foot. One, or a toddler who wants your attention. So just do your best. There we go. Two, if you're someone, you, this is very challenging. Remember, you can touch, lightly touch a chair with one of your hands, or you could aim towards the seat of your chair. Three, it is more challenging when you're talking continuously. There we go, come on, come on. Go, 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 you got this. All right, that's four. And back so good for your brain and your hips this is so good for your hips and five so just a real quick that's it that's our in between that's called active recovery which a lot of folks don't do they they mess around and they don't focus on the task at hand so just remember I could have a chair right here where I'm lightly touching so I bring back that other arm this arms more relaxed and I tip lightly Try not to touch it, because if you are touching, that really cuts out some of the neurological impact of, a, of this exercise. But that said, if you're just all over the place, that's not helping you either. So if I touch a chair, you'll notice you just calm down and your body can focus on the movement, the quality of the movement. Okay, it's chair dipped. You ready? You can bring it. All right, that was my voiceover guy.
like worldwide wrestling. Your personal trainer, Cam Parker, is about to do chair dips. And the crowd goes wild. Okay, here we go. All right, so remember, if bent leg's too easy, straighten your legs. All right, I'm gonna keep my legs bent, and on the third round, I'm gonna straighten them. So my shoulders are back, I'm lifted up off the chair, and I dip down. One, I'm making my arms do all the work, not my legs. Two, three, all the way up. Four, five, focus, six, seven, make sure your chairs are strong, eight, and you're strong too, nine, come on, 10, 11, one more, make your arms do the work, 12, okay, and remember, if you can't make it to 12, you can always hold, or if you need to stop to keep yourself safe, you need to stop, that's really, really important, okay, Next one is the alternating balance. So you could sit in a chair and just bring these weights up and sit up real tall, tighten your core, and there's a little bit of balance involved there, but I wanna max it out by, by standing on one foot. The other alternative is, if you can see in the frame, is I could stand on one foot and touch the toe lightly from the other foot if you're really struggling with this, okay? The whole idea is to set yourself up for a win, okay? Set yourself up for a win. All right, one foot for me, up like this. We're gonna alternate to 10 and then switch feet. Ready, go. One, two, tighten the core. Three, whoop, four, five, six, concentrate, seven, eight, nine, 10, always control the weight on the way down. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the other side, switch feet. One, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good, hold on to your weights. Of course, you may have to switch out to the cans. We're gonna hinge forward, right? So remember, remember the hinge as I drive my hips back, maintaining this arch, chest out. This is a tricep kickback from a hinge position. You could do this in a chair. Bring your elbows up and kick them back. Here we go, 12 times. One, two, three, four, control that weight. Five, this is the best tricep exercise. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna set these down. We're gonna go right to airplanes. Please, in the comments, if you've been hanging out with me for quite a few co videos, and quite a few would be eight, and there's 33. Please t tell in the comments any changes that you notice in your body. That would make my day. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to bring our fists back, right? And I am going to back up just so you can see me in the frame. Here we go, like this. And you're going to lean. You're not leaning forward. You're tipping at the hip. Tip, 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 tip. Here we go, like this. All right? You can always use that pause button when it's not live to take a better look at something. Okay, here we go. Two, remember you can use a chair to support one of the hands, right? Touch it. Okay, this is three. Very good for the hip, which translates into being very good for the knee and the ankle and the foot. Four, one more, I love how my calf starts to burn from this very simple exercise. Five, okay, I'm gonna switch to the other foot. Keep going, I'm gonna change my ankle, angle, so you can see me at a different angle. Here we go. One, these are very strict movements. I'm not bending at the waist, the movement starts with my heel going back. I'm gonna call that number two, <laughs> which I think it is. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm pinching my shoulders, got my knuckles back. 
three. Woo, see that big movement? That's my core. Your core has to be engaged. If you release your core, then it's gonna be harder to bounce. And your challenge is, can I lightly tighten my core and not hold my breath? You do not hold your breath at any time, unless you go underwater, you better hold your breath then. There you go. Let's just do one more for good luck. Here we go. One more, one more, tip it out, tip it out, tip it out. Oh, can't end on a sloppy one. Here we go. Come on, that one was hard. There you go. You know what's funny is I'm barefooted and this right calf is just fired up. That's so funny. You never know which ones will get you on a workout day, right? Okay, third round, third round. We're going back to chair dips. We've done two rounds. Get a sip of water. Okay. All right. Sip of water. Okay. Now I'm going to, this is the third round. I'm so proud of y'all for being here. It's so awesome. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I am going to straighten my legs on this one. Remember, if you've been really struggling with this, you can just hold your body up off the chair. That still stimulates the muscle groups that we're working. All right, straight legs. And here we go. One, two, going to 12, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Alternating balance. Uh, shoulder presses. Yes. Okay. Here we go. So just pick a leg. Gonna balance. Bring the weights up. Keep them here and control them on the way up and down. One, two, three, four, oh yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, control the weight, ten, switching feet. If you're balanced on one leg, switching legs. Here we go. One, that's eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent. Okay. All right, we're going to do those kickbacks. So you're going to hinge forward. You might need to change from the gallons to the um, cans or other weights if you have them. All right, we're pinching the shoulder blades together. Elbows are up. I'm in a nice hinge position. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, concentrate on form. Six, don't rush on the way down. Seven, eight, try to squeeze it back. Nine, 10, I can really feel that, come on. 11 and 12, nice, very good, very good. Okay, airplanes, all right, I'm gonna just space you. Pinch my shoulders back, put my knuckles back, and coming forward, there we go. One, and two, Three, you got this, come on, there we go. Four, now you. some people pick a spot ahead of them. One more, one more. Five, I just try to relax my vision because when you're balanced, you can't always pick a spot. So I do encourage people to don't look at the ground. That's very important. You can look kind of straight out. As I tip, I kind of keep my looking straight ahead or up, but, um, it's okay to just relax your vision as well. All right, other side, here we go. Tipping forward. One, it's funny, I really have a difference from side to side. You may experience that as well. There you go, I'm trying to come way over. You do not have to go as far as I'm going to get the benefit. That was two. 
three, but you do need to concentrate that you don't drop the leg that you're allowing to tip and swing upwards, right? You're tipping at the waist. Take a deep breath if it's really like, oh, this is so hard. Why is this so hard? Take a deep breath. Here we go. It's going to be number four. One more. Yeah. Airplane. Oh, 727. Nice one. Very safe. Okay, good. That was all three. That was three sets. We're going to do a little active movement in between. And what those are going to be is jumping jacks and some air squats. Okay, so we're going to do 25 jumping jacks. Remember that you could just step out. We're doing this to kind of get our heart rate up. I warmed up my shoulders and we went right into the upper body workout. And I just want to do a little cardio burst is what I call it. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, remember you can step out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep going. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I always have to resist the urge to um, turn them into goofy jacks. It's just a thing. It's a can thing. Yes, absolutely. Okay, ten air squats. Now... We didn't really do a lot of warm-ups, though those tippy knees do in your core. So you might not go very deep. We're just gonna do 10 of those. You ready? There we go. One, two, three, four. You can sit down in a chair and stand up. Five, six, you can ignore me and have some water. Seven, eight, don't do that. Nine, one more, 10. Okay, back to the jumping jacks or step jacks. You ready? I'm ready, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Slow it down. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Slow it down. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Five more. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Stepping out. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Very good. Ten air squats. Feel a little breathless, that's what we want. Here we go. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Keep going, six, oh yeah, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, yeah. Now you need some water. Get some water, we're gonna set up for the next thing. And what do you need? The same thing we've been using because I've stuck to the gallons of water, yes. Okay, where's my water? <laughs> it says no drama llama okay all right so first thing for this set you can just relax let your heart rate come down a little bit it's going to be hinge row so we're going to hinge same thing as we did for the tricep kickbacks both weights are down but now we're going to row them okay and i want you to pull back towards your hips towards your hips like that okay let's just go right into it because I'll just take a moment to explain have your cans of beans near you and we'll move into the next exercise okay magic number for this exercise the hinge row could be done from a chair for sure is 12 okay ready go one two three four Make sure you squeeze it at the top. Five, six, do not round your back. Seven, eight, squeezing at the top. Nine, 10 for the win. Keep going, two more. 11 and 12. Excellent. So now, the second exercise is called I Fly. I Fly, which I like that. And I'm going to show two different ways. You could go from a hinge. When you're holding a hinge, just like when you hold plank, if you're holding it correctly with the arch in your back, chest out, just if I just hung out right here, I am activating my posterior chain. And that's really good to the brain. Okay, so an I fly is my, I have the cans, and I'm going to bring it up. So it's like an I, right? So I'm in a hinge, I'm gonna keep the hinge and bring it up like that. 
So the reason I was slowing down right there is I want you to think about a chair hinging forward and bringing those arms up as high as you can. Okay, so definitely can be done from a chair. Okay, we're gonna do 15 of these. You could do it with, uh, if you have two, three, four, five pounds, just make sure you're not straining. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maintain an arch, chest out, tighten your belly, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent. So for me, the eights would be too heavy. These are too light. So what I might start doing is just swinging them around. The key is don't swing the weights. That's not working out, believe it or not. You're overcoming muscle tissue. So we're standing. Let's roll our hips around just a little bit because we're going to hold that hinge again. And you may feel that right in your lower back because you're forcing the back, the, the lower to mid back, to do its job, to hold you right in position. So this is going to be a T fly. So letter the alphabet. Number T, as in you are terrific. All right, so I'm, I'm in that hinge position, and I'm going to bring it out in a T like that. So you see that fly right there? Okay, so let's just go ahead and start. I just did two, did you? Here we go. Three, four, five. Squeeze it up. Don't just throw them around. Six, seven, eight, nine. Maintain a good hinge. Ten, going to fifteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, excellent, excellent. We're gonna go right back to airplane, okay? We want to, I'm doing more airplanes because I really want the brain to connect to my foot, my calf, my hip. So if you're really struggling with these, please utilize the chair technique where I'm gonna demonstrate right now. So everybody, let's start together and I'm gonna start with the chair. I'm lightly touching with one hand, the other is back, Shoulders are down, chest is out, and I'm going to start my movement by letting the heel slide back. Okay, here we go. I'm lightly touching the chair. One, all right, touching the chair. So that calms me down. Two, making this very easy, right? Or easier, I should say. Three, Four, I'm trying not to touch the chair, but it's there if I need it. Five, okay, so all I'm gonna do now is switch um, feet. I don't really need to turn around or anything. There you go, one. This is really about the hip and leg more than it is about the upper body. Two, still lightly touching the chair. Three. Four, excellent. Try to get get your whole body horizontal to the ground. And five, excellent. Okay, so let's roll our hips around a little bit. Okay, make sure because we're building up. We're really, from this workout, you may notice your mid to lower back is sore. So this will not be a good day to sweep, mop, pull weeds, help somebody move. Okay, all right, don't do that today. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the hinge row. I'm picking up my gallons. All right, I'm gonna hinge forward into that good hinge. It's not a squat position, obviously. And I'm gonna drive those elbows back towards my hips. Here we go. One, two, going to 12, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, squeeze them up, 11, don't just drop them, 12, excellent. I'm gonna set those down, picking up my cans or my one, two, three, four, or five pounders, whatever's appropriate, and we're gonna do an eye fly. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes for a second, take pressure off my lower back, 
into a good hinge position. And, and a lot of people don't think about it. In this position, you can squeeze your buns. Okay? Here we go. 15 eye flies. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze in the core. Six, seven. Control them on the way down. Don't just swing them. Eight, nine. You're looking kind of out away from yourself, not at the floor. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. Very good. Okay. I'll loosen that back a little bit. Okay, this is the I, the T, the T fly. So, hinge position. Squeezing my glutes, tightening my abs, not holding my breath. I know it's a lot to think about. That's why I'm here to remind you. Hands are down, and here we go. One, the T, two, three, four. Keep the chest out. Five, do not round your shoulders. This is actually helping with that. Six, to prevent that. Seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, excellent. Now what I like about what's happening is I can really feel that on my lower to mid back and I can feel those muscles working, which I like, that's good. Okay, so airplane again. Remember that you can use the chair. Okay, so I'm gonna put both knuckles back, standing very tall, picking a leg, and here we go. One. This is not something you rush. You wanna give your brain time to figure this out. It's like a puzzle. Two. My vision is just relaxed. Three. Doing great, doing great. Oh, it's funny how it just suddenly you can't, it's harder. Four, one more challenging. One more on this leg. And five, excellent. Okay, here we go, other side. Okay, knuckles back. Start from an upright position. You do not bend at the waist. I know that seems weird, but you don't. You tip at the hip. One. Like my, the leg that's moving is glued in place by my muscles. Two. Very good for the brain. Three, to connect to the stabilizing, small stabilizing muscles like hip rotators. Four. There we go, one more, one more. And Five. Oh, okay, kind of lost it at the last bit. It happens, don't worry. Your brain, what's cool about balance work is later, and this is a good time to sip water, your brain figures that out. It's like a puzzle. So the next time you do it, you're like, wow, it's, it's totally different now. It's literally your nervous system has connected better to your brain, and that's, that's what we want. Okay, excellent. Okay, we gotta do all that again, right? Okay, this third round, third round. You're awesome, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me this morning. And it may not be morning because this could be a recording and thank you so much for watching these recordings and taking loving good care of yourself. Okay, all right, so hinge row, hinge row. We just did it. I'm breaking a little bit because we gotta let the muscles recover. About a minute to 30 seconds, we did have an active recovery but we are holding those shoulders back, so a little more. Okay, I'm done talking now. My favorite word of the day is okay. Here we go. Hinge position, 12 rows. Do not rush. This is the third set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze it up. Nine, ten. 11, one more, 12, 
Excellent. Remember, if it's too challenging, change the weight. If it's too uh, easy, change the weight. All right. Okay. The next one is the I fly. I fly. Yes. Okay. You're flying right now. So hinge position. Okay. I'm using two cans. All right. You can use two, three, four, five pounders, whatever's appropriate for you. Whatever you have. Here we go. One. One to 15. Two. Don't just drop them, bring them down slow. Three, down slow. Four, down slow. Five, this can be done from a chair. Six, seven, do your best to get those arms up high. Eight, whatever your range of movement is right there. Nine, 10, 11, keep your chest out. 12, 13, 14, one more, slow on the way down, 15. A lot of people waste that last rep because they lose focus on, they're like, oh, I'm done, and they don't do that last rep well. So I'm standing and just kind of moving my hips around, releasing tension, squeeze my glutes really tight, which you'll notice right away if you're feeling it in your back and you squeeze your glutes really tight, the back will release. Very important. Okay, here we go. This is the T fly. Knees are soft. I'm in a good hinge position. Chest is out. Arms are hanging down. Same idea. Don't drop the weights as you bring them up and down. Ready? Go. One. Down slow. Two. Three. Bring them down slow. Four. Five. Six. My head is neutral. Seven, you might feel that in your neck a little bit. Eight, nine, bring them down slow. 10, squeeze your glutes if you can. 11, oh yeah, we're almost there. 12, 13, 14, do not round your back. 15, excellent. You want great posture with that chest out because this is a posture corrector. It helps you have the I and the T helps get your, if you are getting a rounded back or you're getting fatigued from working at a desk too much, um, or you're starting to have that kind of, hey, what's up? You know, you're rounded, it'll correct it, but you have to do the work. All right, we're going right to our airplanes with or without the chair, okay? Remember, you do not have to go completely uh, horizontal or parallel to the ground. You go to what works for you. Set yourself up for success. Ready, go. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Oh yeah. Four. You might notice that it's easier right now. You didn't have to wait a day. Here we go. Five. Oh. <laughs> of course, I start talking. And then, okay, take a deep breath. I'm just going to count. We're going to focus on what we're doing. Strong, upright posture, getting better every day, stronger every day in every way. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One. Oh, yeah. Two. Keeping those knuckles back. Three, don't rush the movement. That's a mistake. You can't hurry balance. Four, one more. Five, excellent, excellent. That was three sets, rock and roll. We're gonna get some water. I have one more little set to do to wrap this up that has to do with balance and um, activating the chest. And we'll go from there. Okay, so water, water, water. Mm -mm -mm. I have to get into that water. Okay. Let's see. Up here. Yeah, this is a water break. Remember, if you're watching this as a recording, I don't really want you to rest more than a minute to 30 seconds, but if you do need to take a break, you hit the pause button, come back, um, especially if, if you're not back by the time I start talking or something. Okay, so what are we doing next? 
It's a balanced bicep curl, balanced alternating bicep curl because that demands more of your core. So it's similar to the alternating shoulder press. I'm going to pick up my gallons. You could pick up your cans. Um, you could, uh, if you're having trouble balancing on one leg, an alternative would be to only bicep curl one arm and touch a chair with the other arm, do 10 on that side, right? And then when we switch, you switch to the other side, okay? So really understand, use my cues so that you feel successful and so that you can continue to train balance into your body because that has a lot to do with proprioception, your brain's connection to your muscles. Okay, so I'm going to stand on one leg and I'm going to alternate to, let's see, I think 10, right? Okay, and then I'm going to switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, let it down slow, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. I'm going to switch sides, switch legs. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, squeezing my core, standing tall, 20. Good. Set these down. And the next one is called a Santana. It's a weird name. I don't know why they named it that. Um, so I am going to show doing it in a chair, very modified first. So if I'm in a chair in what we call this table, and what you're going to do is swing your arm up and really open up as far as you can. Slowly come down and then swing this arm up on the other side. So that's very modified. And, and it's about range of movement in your thoracic region, your chest, your upper body, and, and opening up the chest. If you want it more strenuous, we're going to put our feet wide and be in a, a plank on the chair. That chair has to be stable enough that you can hold plank and that chair is not going to tip. That's one of the only concerns I have about at home when I can't see you is that you, you pick a wobbly chair. Don't do that. So what I'm going to do for just make it more safe is have my hands pretty close together. I'm in plank and I come up into this movement. Bring that down closer to the center of the chair and then the other side. Okay, that's two modifications. Then you're strong in plank, right? I'm gonna bring this down. So a lot of you have been working on plank, I know, because I talked to you, all right? So I'm in a strong plank. My feet are gonna be a little wider than I might set them. And I'm gonna come up into this side plank, come down, and then the other side, okay? This is where I'm gonna do it. Pick what's best for you. We're gonna to count to 12. Everybody ready? Take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, move with control, hold a good plank, squeeze your abs, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, one more with control, twelve. Don't give up that last rep. Control it all the way to the end. Okay, there's no active rest in between. We're going to go right back to the alternating bicep curls. Standing on one leg. Go into ten. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, try to hold still, seven except for your arms, eight, nine, ten, switch the legs, ready, go, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Okay, setting that down, going back to the Santanas. Remember, you can modify here, you can modify here, or you can go to the ground. From the ground, go in the 12, or the chair. One, two, open that chest up. Three, four, five, six, seven. Look up at that hand if you can. Eight, working on range of movement. Nine, almost there. Ten, eleven, one more. Twelve. Excellent. All right, third round, final round of this workout. We've got this. We're good. You have done it almost. We got, here we go. One leg. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch feet, switch legs. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, oh yeah, 16, 17, 18, squeeze your core, 19, 20, excellent, okay, go to the floor if you're real strong there, I'm going to show them the one in the middle where I'm in plank on the chair, that it can be done, hands towards the center of the chair, ready to go, one, Two, three, control, four, squeeze your abs, five, six, keep your shoulders out of your ears, seven, eight, almost there, nine, ten, 11, excellent, and 12, beautiful, wow, the crowd goes wild, thank you so much for being here, thank you for working out with me, we're going to cool down, that was an upper body workout, excellent, okay, hey Betty, what's up, so if you're watching this as a recording, please let me know in the comments that you did it later, and today's episode, I don't usually do a product promotion, but it is Trim Cafe, and I'll put a link. The reason why is it's summer and it's hot, but I still like a good coffee. But then you got to cool it down, iced coffee, all that. And I don't want to make a whole pitcher and cool it down. I just want one iced coffee. So Trim Cafe has a thermogenic ingredient, and it has high-quality instant coffee in it. So it's just two ingredients, I believe. And um, it was, I put it in... Uh, I mixed it first and then put it over ice and it was immediate and it was wonderful and I really loved it so and thank you all right so we're gonna stretch this across like this oh that was great I, I think that went by quick and again it was about strength and balance today and connecting your brain to your body and your heart right there's a big highway between your heart and your brain there is all right, okay, switch sides like this. Excellent. I hope right now what you're saying to yourself is, I did it, I did another one, I did it. I am successful, I am awesome. And please do not skip your cool downs. You know, this is, um, these workouts are designed pretty much like I've run a personal training session, a professional hour, which is 50 to 60 minutes. And even when I try to shorten them, I'm not going to skip the warm up and the cool down because I know people get hurt or they get too sore. And if you get too sore, you don't want to work out anymore. So if you're just jumping on and taking a look when I'm doing these live ones, please come back and do the whole recording and take loving good care of yourself. Right now we're doing a cool down for the triceps. I want you to lace your hands behind you. Here's Darby, who's... Say, hey, I can tell. She just kissed my foot down there. Hey, how are you? And she knows what's next. I go out for a nice breath of fresh air out in the outside where it's getting hot already. 
pull those shoulders back. See how I got them back? Right, this is an exercise that really helped me the first time I injured my shoulders. Your shoulders have a lot to do with your pec, your chest muscles being too tight from the type of work most people do driving or sitting at a desk. So if you're getting tight, really technically every hour, you should get up, move around at least two minutes and do something, don't just go get a drink of water, like at least stretch, maybe do some exercise, you know. It only takes a minute or two to do 10 air squats and 10 incline push-ups on a countertop. And believe me, it'll wake up your brain too. Okay, so let's roll these shoulders around a little bit. Other way, yep, yep. And now that lower back is where we did more than you realize. So what I'm gonna do is back up. I don't wanna skip releasing the lower back. So my legs are apart, kind of in sumo. And I'm gonna run both hands down a leg, right? And just support myself. I might stop at the knee or I might be able to go further. Hey Darby, what's going on? I'm almost done. And I feel that right in that tension, right in my lower back, okay? It's okay to soften your knee because this isn't really about stretching the hamstrings though, you might feel it that way. Now if I want to, I can use my leg to come back up by pushing on it. I'm gonna go turn to the other leg, slide both hands down that leg, and I should feel it in the, right there in that lower, lower back. Yeah, on the one side. That was smart. You don't want to walk away from a workout and not target one of the muscles that was used the most, which today was our lower to mid back for all the hinge position we did. Okay, now we're going to go gently to the front, soften your knees a little, just come right down. If you can, you can come to a chair, right, and relax or go to the floor, pet your pet, pet your cat or your dog who might be down there going, I love you, I love you, yes, yes, oh, you want my belly rub. All right, now when you come up from this, you're gonna bend your knees a lot, come up very slow, let's do a big inhale right here, big inhale. <sighs> okay, good, we released that back, mine feels a lot better now. Okay, you ready, let's breathe together. We're gonna breathe in love, and we're gonna push love and compassion out to everybody in the world right now. A lot of people are struggling. Thank you so much for taking love and good care of yourself. Here we go, big inhale. <sighs> All right, it's okay to make some noise unless it'll dis disturb somebody in your house, okay? <sighs> okay, one more, one more. Just let those shoulders drop. Let all your concerns melt away. <sighs> all right, we did it, we did it. Amazing. I will see you for the next workout, CoVideo 34, and it is a leg day. I love you.